Job ethics really is a marketing term that's sort of an umbrella for a, a set of activities. And we announced it at Java One, and it's and it's this 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 family. It's a sort of umbrella term around these things that are really intended to be consumer facing, and all the work that we're doing right now is all is all open open source. And one of the things that we're trying to do as a part of this is converge everything on <coughs> the Java SE specification. And right now we've got a lot of different sort of places in the, in the spectrum of, of, of anywheres, but they're all growing up. Um, the cell phones are growing up, the, 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 the um, cable TV set-top boxes are growing up. You know, the kind of things that they can do are all, are all growing up. And so we're trying to get as much sort of convergence in those APIs as we can get. And that, that convergence is going to be something that's going to take years, you know, given the way that the, the, the sort of food chain in these things works. So there's really four major components in the, in the FX world. One is this thing called JavaFX Mobile, which is sort of a new software stack for, for, for mobile phones. Uh, one, uh, we have no idea what to call it. We've been calling it the consumer JRE for the longest time. And then, you know, lawyers and marketing people got very upset. Um, so it's generically these days, it's Java SE 6 update in. We don't know which, which updates is going to be as soon as, as, as we can. And there's a scripting language called JavaFX Script, which is all, all it's, it's a scripting language sort of in the sense of, you know, PHP and Python and, and all the rest of them. But, you know, while those are focused at sort of generating HTML from the presentation layer outwards, um, JavaFX Script is really all about rich user interactions, doing things with, you know, very fancy graphics and alpha channel com composited things that are flying back and forth. Um, and there's also a piece of it that, that in our in our API set that we're working on that, that's about the, the scene graphs. It's kind of the, the thing that underlies what sort of JavaFX script drives, which is this sort of unification of, 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 sort of the Java 2D APIs and the Swing APIs. It's a way to sort of tie them together as a way that you can drive with media through time. The way to, to, to look at this space is from the developer's point of view. You know, when a, when a developer sits down and wants to blast some blast an application out. Um, what do they do? And these days, if you look at the, the way that, that a lot of shops work, they really have really two kinds of people in them that are, that are building these, these websites. Um, there's no real good terminology for it, right? But there's this, there's this definite split between what we tend to call developers and designers. We're really being very careful about sort of working with the art and design community working well with all the tools that, that, that they're used to using, like, like Flash and Photoshop and, and, and Illustrator. Um, it's not going to look like you know, your grandmother's at IDE. Um, and, and, and it's, and it's, and it's going to have this, the, this sort of retargetable uh, property of being able to run things on sort of desktops and phones and uh, browsers and, and so anywhere else where there's you know, one of these CDC SE style devices. I mean, we've got we've got people who are doing concept implementation of this in, in things like cars, um, doors, and random, you know, all kinds of random places where there are visual presentations of, of, of anything.